Hello, my name is Stefan Holstein. You probably heard of me a few years ago when there was talk about a German guy talking about religion. And it's true, I talk about religion on my YouTube channel. If you are interested to really learn things about religion, go to my YouTube channel and you will find uh, videos talking about religion, spirituality, how you can put it into your life, and also some meditation. But this video is not about religion. This video is about cooking. To be more specific, it's about secret ingredients. If you cook, you know it's as as somebody who cooks it's it's good if you have some secret ingredients where you know ha huh, special secret ingredient that I put in everybody gonna say wow this is super tasty why is it so good give me more of this how did you do this and so I'm gonna present my secret ingredients for cooking number one not too much a secret ingredient, but I want to get that out of the way so that we heard of it. Not a joke. Salt. If you got no salt in your food, people are going to say, uh, it tastes like, I don't know. Huh. If you got too much salt in your food, um, it's going to taste like, oh, uh, it's too salty. But salt is one of the ingredients, if you put a good amount but not too much into your food, it's, it's one of the ingredients that will make people want to eat more. So it's not secret, but it's, a, it's, it's very interesting for you to know that it makes people really like your food if you, if you put a good amount of salt into it. That's why it has to be on this list, even if it's not in a way a secret ingredient. The other ones are going to be more special secret ingredients. Second one also, not too much a secret ingredient, it's more a bit a secret ingredient. It's, it's more about one special technique that I want to talk about. It's sugar. It's said that when you put sugar into things, they get extra tasty, even though people don't know why. Um, and there's one special idea that you can make with sugar. If you're cooking something where you heat up oil, and then afterward put something in so that you don't have heated oil anymore, like a tomato sauce. You make onions in oil, um, you, you um, fry the onions in the oil, and then you afterwards you put tomato sauce, uh, tomato stuff into it so that you don't, ha don't have burning oil anymore. Then you can try melting some sugar for one or two minutes, not too long because then it will burn afterwards. But if you try melting some sugar, in your oil and then putting the other stuff in so you don't have heated oil anymore. It's an incredible secret for making things very tasty. Sugar can be a secret ingredient. Um, and if you melt it even more. And an add-on to that, if you like want to go fancy with this, honey can also be a great secret ingredient for actually everything. Uh, it's oft, often used in, in Asian, in the Asian kitchen, and also can be put into the oil and melted in the oil just for one or two minutes if you then put on your vegetables or your tomato stuff or whatever in. So, because also the, the honey will boil if it's longer, for longer in the, in the oil than two minutes. If you don't burn it and you got the chance to cook something, try melting some honey, uh, half a teaspoon maybe. If uh, from the sugar you don't take a teaspoon, from the sugar you take uh, just a, you go like this, just a bit of sugar that you melt, sugar that you melt. That's enough. Um, honey also, if it's even if it's not melted, can be really a great secret ingredient for your cooking. Next one. That's, that's, in my opinion, we go more, come more to the things that are really secret in a way. Peanut butter. 
peanut butter um, more frequently used in Asian cooking also half a teaspoon even if you really really like it a teaspoon that's enough a secret ingredient a thing that makes food have a secret taste where you where you think what is it it's it's kind of really good peanut butter secret ingredient ingredient next one lemongrass lemongrass gives a a fresh lemon like taste uh, to your food it's, can also be used in in like a lot of foods just uh, half a teaspoon if you don't depends on if you want people to to think it tastes kind of like lemongrass or if you want the people to to think hmm it's a really fine taste of this um it should be uh, half can be half a uh, a teaspoon or or you just go like put a, a bit of it in depends on your uh, on your uh, on what you like but is very well can very well be a secret ingredient lemongrass next one soy sauce i have the dark soy sauce you can get the dark soy sauce from any brand you can get the dark soy sauce in nearly any supermarket and if you want to have the light soy sauce you have to go to to this certain chinese little chinese or asian food uh, stores if you want to go cook asian stuff you need both you have to mix them the dark and the light one in the same dish um or only the light one or only the dark one but if you want to go cook asian food you need both but the dark one is enough for being a secret ingredient a teaspoon into like actually a lot of the things you cook it can can have this effect of well what what why is this so tasty there's some special taste to it secret ingredient soy sauce and next one this is sesame oil sesame oil um roasted sesame oil it gives an incredible taste to the things you cook um you can have your casual oil that you use for cooking and then put uh, just half a teaspoon of this in you can put half a teaspoon in in whatever you cook there's two kinds of this is um the roasted sesame oil is the dark one the brown one and there's not roasted sesame oil that's um looks like casual oil it's yellowish um kind of yellowish um color get the um the roasted the roasted sesame oil it has an incredible taste it's it's really a a very good secret ingredient if you put half a teaspoon or a teaspoon or if you if you really like this taste you can put um more of it in great secret ingredient sesame oil roasted next one parsley parsley is an incredible secret ingredient it it is not it does not it's not so much to be noticed when you eat it of course when you know cooking you know okay this tastes like parsley but usually it it seems to me that that this taste is not noticed as it tastes too much but it's it's noticed as an an incredible feeling of well this is really good you can do a lot of par you can you can put a lot of parsley in like a a tablespoon of parsley is usually not too much you can even put some more in or of course if you like it just put a bit of it in but uh i would in this case parsley i would put a a bit more than just like this as a, a teaspoon um half a teaspoon a tablespoon half a tablespoon um or even more two tablespoons <laughs> maybe that's too much uh depends on what you like but nevertheless parsley is an incredible secret ingredient that people usually in my opinion don't 
notice too much, but but they think, oh, this is really good. So, um, parsley. Underestimated, I think, for cooking. I actually nearly put it in everything that I cook. A good amount of parsley. And the last one, and I don't have it here, but you know what it is uh, when I say it. It's um, instant soup. It, it's It's been a discussion uh, in a bit if if these um, test, uh, taste enhancers are all too, um, are all too healthy, but uh, there's a lot of uh, instant soups that come without taste um, enhancers. It's not too much a secret tip anymore because actually everybody knows it, but it stays one of the tips uh, if you wanna if you wanna um, know what secret ingredients you you got in your kitchen. Uh, the casual um, the casual instant soup that you make hot water and put a spoon of it in and then you have a soup. Take just a bit of it, um, quarter of a teaspoon, and put that add that to your food. If you want, look at, if you have um, if you have it if you find one without taste enhancers and uh, natrium glutamate, however, uh, this stuff I don't know how it's pronounced, but um, look if you find with stuff without it, um, which actually you you get these days, and then. Um, instant soup, just a just a little bit of of it into your food is not a secret anymore because that's already a very classic um, secret ingredient for making food more tasty. That's it. That was my list of my special secret ingredients for cooking, which of course everybody who likes cooking should have like one or two things where you say okay this is really this works for me um give it a try uh if you like it and thanks for watching and uh go to my channel if you want to hear me talk about uh religion and spirituality of course goodbye